The Senate notes with grief multiple terror attacks on two communities of Tebe Rigwilan in Basa local government and Durbi Shere district in just east local government, leading to the death of several persons over the weekend. To be specific, 10 persons lost their lives in the attack at Tebe, and two persons lost their lives at the attack on Durbi village of Shere district in Just East. Concerned that the attacks were a setback to the relative and much desired peace in Plateau North. Disturbed by the security breach and jailbreak at the Just Medium Security Correctional Center on Sunday, 26th of November 2021, an update of the from the center indicates the following, that nine of the inmates were killed in the attack. One of the bandits was also killed. One officer lost his life during the attack. 252 inmates escaped and are, and are now at large. Six persons who are also inmates were fatally injured. Ten of the escapees have been rearrested. And out of the 252 inmates that escaped, 63 we are condemned criminals who had been sentenced to death. 27 of them had already been convicted. 181 were awaiting trial. And the Senate is aware that the Just Correctional Center is well fortified and surrounded by major security formations and is indeed located in the center of the city of Jos. The Senate is further aware that the invaders walked through a security zone and broke through to have over 200 inmates escape from the center. Equally aware that the warders put up a fight against the invaders but were overwhelmed, leaving behind a slain warder in the person of Umar Mohammed who lost his life in a gallant gun battle against the attackers. The Senate therefore resolves to one, call for the reinforcement of physical protection system and security mechanism at correctional centers across the nation by the Ministry of Interior to forestall further attempts at jailbreak. Number two, that the attacks at Tebe and Durbi communities in Basa and Just East, local governments of Plateau North, and other communities across the nation requires more decisive and proactive measures by the Chief of Defense Staff and the Inspector General of Police to secure law-abiding citizens from incessant terror attacks. Particularly now, that the long-awaited proscription of bandits as terrorists has been formalized by the federal government. Three, a minute silence be observed in prayers for the victims who lost their lives at Tebe and Turbi and Durbi villages of, just, of Basa and Just East local governments and those killed at the Just Correctional Center. Mr. President and distinguished colleagues, I so move.